I grew up in a loving but entirely non-church-going home in the great state of New South Wales. And I remember learning about Christianity at school and being mystified by why the Christians called today Good Friday. Why would you call the day when the founder of your religion was tortured to death in the most cruel and inhumane way possible? It was only years later, and I remember somebody explaining uh, the Christian gospel to me uh, a bit like this. They said, imagine that this hand is you as you were meant to be, and up there, the sun, the light coming down is God. This is how things were made to be at the beginning. Uninterrupted relationship between you and God, nothing standing between you and your maker. But then it all went wrong because we chose to go our own way. We chose to turn away from God and to commit sins, to do all sorts of things our own way, to set out for independence and to decide what we thought was right and wrong. And instead of there being an uninterrupted relationship between us and God, these sins have come and stood in the way between us and God. So now there's a barrier and we cannot know him. Well, then what happened on Good Friday was this. Jesus Christ, who never sinned, nothing ever stood in the way between him and his heavenly Father. He came and on that cross where he died, he took all of my sins. He bore them in my place on the cross. And that means that all of my sins are now gone. And because of him paying the price, I can know God in his forgiveness and as my loving Heavenly Father forever. The Bible puts it like this. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. That's how Easter has changed my life. That's why today is Good Friday.